Good morning, Glorious Creek Bridge Highway thing that has a lot of birds. How the hell are you today? I've missed you. It's been a while. Back to my roots. Back to the dirty old city creek. Let's give it a whirl with this thing. pup out. Hi guys, my name is Josh and welcome back to another episode of 619 Fishing. Today, I traveled about an hour to my favorite creek spot. I'm just kidding. I'm sorry, Nick. I had to. No disrespect intended, but uh, yeah, I believe I believe old Nicholas did try this thing once, and I'd be willing to bet my bottom dollar that he that he probably didn't catch much on it. Once again, no disrespect, but this contraption, after messing with it last night, is uh, it's kind of a hunk of junk. It's like it's from Japan. I wish I had the uh, the instructions, but basically, it's a automatic pull holder setting device, kind of like the ones for ice fishing, like the automatic fisherman and the. Uh, jaw jacker except it's for open water and uh, I've been doing a lot of traveling lately and I was gonna fish close to home and I figured I better spice it up with uh, something I actually bought like a year ago and just have never used it's a uh, I'll show you guys it's kind of sketchy it's it sounds like a bear trap I'm actually kind of excited to see if they work and if they work I will be surprised because most of the time these gimmicky stupid things never work and I hate doing challenges but I'm actually kind of excited for this one so come along with me dirty old stash stains Thought I wasn't gonna throw something in, but I did. See if we can catch something with a stupid automatic pull holder thing. Pop out. All righty. We are just gonna start with one. We have two though. So eventually we're gonna try two, but for now we're gonna run one just to, just to see if it works. But basically it comes like this. Also, I was gonna bring down my tripod to make this like a fancier video. But let me tell you what, getting down here was a pain in the ass and I got down here and realized I didn't have it, so. We'll just use the GoPro, but this is your trigger based on current or how hard of a bite you put it in these different slots. So up here, since we have current, I think I'm gonna have to do one of these, but this is for like bluegill fishing or something. I'm not sure who would wanna use one of these for bluegill fishing. Don't you guys know those memes that it's like, oh, there's a fish swimming around, it eats a jig, and then it gets rocketed into the ceiling or the person does. If I can figure out how to be smart enough to pull one of those online, I will, but I'd imagine this thing's gonna rip its damn head off, cause watch, hold the trigger down, I brought a pen down just for this this part because it uh, seems sketchy. You guys ready? You ready? Jesus. Yeah, should have set the hook hard enough, hypothetically. So let's grab one pull for now, like I said, even though we got two. Head down and set it up. All right. I'm gonna push it in the ground first. The ground is not very solid, but it should work, maybe. Let's do this. Check our drag. Probably good enough for who it's for. Hopefully something doesn't eat it while I'm trying to do this. Take some extra line. This is sketchy. <gasps> <laughs> well, basically that little red dealie right there is the trigger fish pulls it sets off the trigger and supposedly you're supposed to have a fish on so just kind of stand by this thing for a second and see uh see what happens might have to uh add a little bit of weight but the trigger is holding with the uh with the current which is what i was concerned about but we are getting a bite oh my god it worked <laughs> Hey! First five minutes, we got a fish on the automatic flippy deal. Catfish on corn, it worked. That was nifty. Hey, talk about instant results, boys and girls. That's why I like this spot. It doesn't necessarily have, have the most desirables, but when it comes to trying to catch a fish on a uh, weird automatic thing from uh, overseas, I mean, this is the spot. This is the spot. Little channel kitty. Well, if you like this video, give this video the... <laughs> Just kidding. We're gonna try to catch some more. Uh, but that was, I thought we'd have some trials and tribulations. Thought we'd lose a finger, thought we'd break a pole, thought we'd fall in the water, thought we'd miss some fish, but hey, I guess first time's the charm. Whoever made up that other saying is, uh, it's full of crap, so. There we go. 
at the bottom. Shove her in. Open the bail. Pull some wine back. Sorry, I really should have brought my tripod down so you guys can get a better view, but yeah, good enough. Worked that time, let's see if it works again. And stuff. That's bigger. That's bigger. It's stuck in something though. That's all fish, it's deaf. <laughs> oh bud. Hey, it held up. Didn't get ripped in the water. We got some problems though. That was pretty badass. Two for two on the automatic hook setter. This one's a carp fish, which is what I was intending to catch, hence the corn. But we'll take channels too. We aren't picky. I mean, that's raw power right there, boys and girls. Raw power. Try to get them up in this, uh, this little pool so we don't have to have them flop around on the sand for a while because even though most people don't like carp and they are invasive, I like them because of this. How they fight. You guys have heard it enough from me, but I haven't caught a carp for a while, so bear with me. All right, let's see if we can get our hands on him without getting wet. Probably physically impossible. Oh! You punk. Carpfish. Under a bridge. On a weird automatic hook setter. Let's get him back before he gets more wet. How are you guys doing down there? You're doing better than me. Alright, well. I'm cleaned up. Got corn on. The test has basically been concluded, you know. Now we're just catching fish for fun, but this thing works. I kind of like it. I wouldn't trust it with like fishing for flatheads or something. And I don't trust having my fingers around it, to be honest with you, but yeah, we'll risk it for, for the gram. Is this Instagram? Are we on Instagram? No, this is YouTube. Risk it for the tube. I'm gonna legitimately Try to find this on Amazon, so if you guys want to try it, I'll link it down below. Most of the time I just say that and never do it, but... Got it on the second trigger, and it seems to be perfect for current. Maybe we'll try it uh, eventually with the, uh, at the bottom, but... So far it's working. Don't broke it if it ain't fixed, so... I'm gonna kneel here like a homeless person, and, um, wait for a fish to come by. Shooting for five fish, see if we can get something bigger. See if we can get something to rip this sucker out of the ground. That's the goal now. Let's do it. All right, I'm getting old, my knees hurt, so. We'll stand next to it. See if we can go three for three. Three for three. <laughs> that one tried stealing it. I like this thing, guys. And girls. This thing's kind of cool. I really wanted to hate it. But it's kind of cool. And this fish is a little bigger. I think. Oh. My. God. Oh my God. <laughs> this is the biggest fish I've ever hooked in this spot. I'm pretty sh Did you see how light that thing was biting? Did you see how light that was biting? I want this. This is a personal best. I believe it's a grass carp and it's like 15 pounds. <gasps> we got to get this. That is intense. Never in my wildest dreams did I think this would happen down here. This is nuts. This is impressive. Got a lot of snags and a lot of rebar though, so we're going to have to take our time. Light line. This fish probably weighs as much as our line line capacity, so we're gonna have to be careful. <laughs> oh no. He's stuck. Big old grasser. 
and I've only ever caught like three grass carp in my whole life. I've never caught one on corn. Goodness. Good. That could have been bad. That could have been bad. We aren't in the clear until this thing's in our hands. So you eat more than just leaves, huh, bud? <laughs> it was just like tick, 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 tick. It's one of the impressive things to me about carp. Is they just bite it so light and you have no idea how big they are until they about rip your pole in. That's intense. That is intense. It's like a 30 inch fish. Now I really wish I had my big camera, but we'll make it work. Just need to get him up into this back pool somehow. Nuts. Biggest fish I've ever caught here. <gasps> By a considerable margin too. And the automatic hook setter is three for three. I'm getting a hold, I'm shooting him an email. I'm gonna see if they'll sponsor my channel. All they'd have to do is send me a couple automatic hook setters. I'll send them $30 and I'll be on the pro staff. It's gonna be epic, boys and girls. It's gonna be epic. All right, come over here, you big lipped, you big lipped booger. Let me grope ya. I'm talking about a trash bag bridge Nebraska tarpon right here. He beached himself. Um, what? What? Alrighty. I'd be shocked if he didn't get you guys a little wet, but bear with me. Let's see if we can get some sunlight on this booger. I mean, that's gotta be a 10 pounder, and that's definitely my biggest grass carp ever. That is nuts. Automatic hook setter doing Will work. All right. Cool. Cool, cool. I thought we'd get some commons. Cords in the way. Maybe some channels. Well, that's a damn 10 plus pound grass carp in my book, boys and girls. Thank you, Automatic Hook Setter. You're the best. All right, at this point, we've proven this thing can work. We caught a pretty damn giant fish on it, in my opinion. And, um,. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna fish until it misses, you know? Try to get like, I don't know, a couple more or something. Right now it's three for three though, so we're not leaving yet. Even though the point I was trying to prove is, actually the point I was trying to prove is this thing's a pile of trash, but the point that I'm now trying to prove, it's already proven, so. Screw the night crawler. We're sticking with corn and plopping it back out in our little hole. Man, boys and girls, I've been working really hard lately on content and stuff and traveling around and doing tours and such. And uh, I've been doing some struggling in there too. So this feels real good. Beginning of August, end of summer, just can get uh, kind of tough. So really thankful for these uh, dirty old carp and trash fish and spots like this. Cause you know, I do YouTube and stuff and it's my job now, but I just like catching fish, you know? I mean, the YouTube thing is very important to me and I appreciate everybody who watches my videos very much. But at the end of the day, I just wanna catch fish, you know? And that's what we're doing. Insert montage of catching fish now. <laughs> four for four. Another big fish, but it's stuck in the rocks. Yeah? Yeah? Can you get it? Oh, did it miss one? Oh, four for five. Sending it back. For some reason, this other other trigger is kind of stiff. That one should have went off. That one went off though. Five for six. On again. Big fish. I mean, that's a root tootin' good time right there, boys and girls. It's another grassy. I'll be stoked.
But even if it's not, it's definitely one of the larger commons in this spot. Thanks for playing, bud. Thanks for playing. Nope. Five for six. Or six for seven? I've lost, I've lost track. I about fell in the damn water. And he's also on a damn snag again. Nope, he's out. He is out. That thing slammered it. Oh my gosh, another grassy. It's another grassy. Oh my god. Oh shit. I'm in trouble. Goo. 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 Two personal best grassies. That dude tried to tackle me. Everybody calm down. I mean, look at that hook set, boys and girls. Look at that hook set. Alrighty. Grass carp number two. Probably about the same size as the last one. Definitely bigger than any grassy I've ever caught. Twice. All right, Glorious Creek, I bid you farewell. As soon as I build up the courage to crawl out of here, I'm ready. Just gotta say bye. All righty, well, I was expecting to catch some uh, channel cats and some carp, but I was definitely not expecting to catch grass carp, especially two as big as that. I mean, the Missouri River around here, they, that has big grass carps. Obviously, Boo caught that big grass carp out of the Missouri River, but uh, as far as around here goes, that's kind of top of the line, and yeah, bigger than anyone I've ever caught, and I caught two of them but uh yeah i'll link nick's channel down below i had to poke a little fun we're in the same genre ish except he smiles a lot more and i cuss a lot more so that's kind of the differences if you like my videos you'll probably like his i'll link it down below and if it wasn't for him making a video with this stupid ass thing probably never would have done it or knew it existed so i guess i'll give him credit there but uh yeah i'm gonna climb out of here because i'm real dirty and uh, i'm getting assaulted by bugs so if you like this video give this video a thumbs up leave a comment subscribe went a hell of a lot better than i expected and um yeah Maybe I'll use it again, not as a gimmicky thing, but just to use it because it actually seemed to work pretty well, like six out of seven or something, maybe seven out of eight. Didn't really miss very many fish, so. Thanks for coming along on this fishing adventure, and um, yeah, see you soon. Stuff and things, pa-pow, goodbye.